Tell you what, people love the hat, didn't they? Love the hat. This is back, viewers. The hat is back. And do you know what these bits here? Some people might say, oh, trim them off, Ben. It gives it character, doesn't it? Gives it character. Sun-kissed red as well from the light. It's, it's about 30 degrees outside, it feels like. I'm sitting in front of four lights. We need to record the video. Let's delve in. Today, we could be champions. Champ Flip it, heck. Folks, welcome back to an episode of AFC Thames. We are Benji FM. Good to see you. Let's get into the action. Uh, you can see from our last few games, four matches were played, and I was I was debating really when to bring it back. I have to bring it back with four to go right now. I was going to do final three games of the season, but the signs around me have started to crumble. Uh, you know, I said the Lincoln game would be a doddle, would breeze through that. Three two defeat. Conceded the ninety first minute. Just just comedy viewers. Just absolute hashtag comedy. Fortunately for us, though, wins against Mansfield, Bolton, and Sunderland have seen us stay at the top of the table and in theory now with 10 points clear we are just one win away from sealing the league title and promotion from the league one to the championship and what a day this could be what a, what a way we could end the week right now i started off on holiday wearing this hat and i'm, I'm ending the week in front of four lights wearing this hat so i think the moral of the story is what a bloody good hat um, before we carry on for today's video i've done a video about the euros of course it's, it kicks off tonight uh, if you're watching in the future the euros are finished i can't believe france won no one saw that coming etc um but here we are uh, there's a there's a prediction video uh, you can win all of the merch on my store if you get all 10 predictions correct uh, the last one obviously quite difficult that's a random element but if you want to watch that video and you missed it earlier today doing lots of football con content over the euros uh, sometimes there'll just be double upload days of videos terms will remain a weekly thing don't worry about it right anyway uh, all the information is now in your ears so let's continue so we can do it right here right now right here right now right here right now i won't do the whole thing it's a four five six minute song so the first game we have up today we're going to play two if we need to if we, if we beat oxford and we win the league i'm not gonna i'm not gonna waste a lot of time by beating the other sides that deserve a, a beating uh, oxford united though they're the, the first team that we're going to face off against so someone brought up something that i thought was really interesting um that, that they mentioned uh below right he's got a, an xg of 27.78 and 45 goals in 45 starts it must be said that solomon's is pretty good as well but they're performing so much above their xg does that make me fearful for next season just a little bit but still really really impressive numbers still to be able to score like between them they should have 50 like 57 goals anyway so the fact they've got even more than that is is outrageous really they are two phenomenal footballers um the interesting thing i wanted to bring up then so in terms of scoring and our attacking efficiency this season you can see that we are basically the best team in the world viewers aggressive and clinical in our uh, in our outputs uh, oxford who we've played first are the second highest team in this particular category I, I think going this way is slightly better than going that way so um yeah they'll take that i would imagine lots of uh, lots of clinical finishing expected in this first game and the team then for it we actually aren't quite at game day um also since we last met um we've had a takeover so this was my reaction to the takeover all right we've got a takeover malcolm pickups his name um there's, they're, they're literally telling me nothing else i think i'm safe on with the video good sorry that news sort of came out of nowhere didn't it yes we've had a takeover they've wiped the debt entirely um we're still sliding back into it they decided to restructure the debt as a bank loan so now i'm paying off a bank loan which only sends us back into debt again i don't know if these people know what they're doing but the reality is we've taken off 600 700 thousand worth of debt from our overall balance anyway and uh, yeah the new owner's come in he's got a great name so yeah as you've seen malcolm pickup um is the new chairman welcome malcolm he's kept me in the job everything's fine all right then can we be promoted to the championship we've got a new owner we've got two phenomenal strikers and can this be the day uh i say that i just i was we were talking about it and then i remembered that we'd had a takeover and i should probably mention the takeover we had a big thing of the takeover yesterday didn't happen it didn't happen didn't, it didn't happen uh it's happened today and i forgot to even mention it so here we are look too busy talking about the hat viewers have you seen the hat look at the hat it's a good hat i just feel alive with it on that's the difference but here we are to clinch 
the title. We know that a win will get it done. Uh, it may go to the game against Preston. It should be said Oxford and Preston, two so, like top half of the table side. So decent teams. Of course, next year, if we are promoted, and I've got to be honest, folks, it's looking pretty good. If we are promoted, we will face off against some Premier League, this current season's Premier League opposition. Uh, I've not had a look at who's potentially coming down, but it's just coming to brain, into brain, into my brain now. They've got six games to go. It looks like Burnley, Fulham, Stoke. It could even be Everton if things turn around. Southampton, Sheffield United, they're both at risk as well. As Thames might win the league for the first time ever. Goodness gracious me. Okay, they've bottled it a few times. They won't. They may well bottle it again, but this might be their year. Morena, uh, or Mare Mare Mareira, there we are. Mareira, uh, he's their best player. He looks, he looks good. I say their best player. He's the top goal scorer in the league. He's probably good. Oxford United. Come on, then. Is, is this the is this the moment we get another promotion? Is it championship time, viewers? This is the first time for a long time. I promised it as well. I was like I, almost certain. I was like, yeah, damn right, we're gonna do it. Yeah, of course we are. All right, uh, we're gonna have to make a couple of changes then. We've got a few injury issues. Russell could come in for O'Reilly at the back. That one's quite simple. Uh, Welsh is gonna come back in to the centre as well. Renatino can can fill in for Ellison on the bench. Barras and O'Reilly then suspended for this one. Ellison out through injury and the rest of the side the side of the stage kind of picks itself then uh Doherty will be in goal we've got Wells Pack and Russell Cook at the back of Stone Welsh Tete Reed below and Solomon uh Cook filling in the left back wasn't something I intended but actually without tackling and with decent enough speed um yeah he's filled in, in there quite well MacArthur I always thought would play there but yeah Cook's, Cook's done an okay job so we'll leave him there for now all right viewers can we do it I, I hope so if it gets because Let's face it, this would be the biggest bottle job of all the bottle jobs. I've had some intense bottle jobs over the years. Dortmund springs to mind. There was a there was a community shield game of Salford that springs to mind. Um there's others. <laughs> there's lots of other moments. But this, not being promoted from this position, would be the worst. Okay. All we've got to do is win away from home. Be confident. Be happy. There's a free kick immediately. That's a lovely wall they've got there, by the way. They've really built that out well. Uh, ball played in and headed just over. There's an early sign of danger from... Oh, what's this here? What are these two poles doing here? Are they floodlights? Blimey, they're, they're weirdly positioned. Anyway, uh, still 0-0. 10 minutes to go on. And we can just be we can just be calm. The game can't be won at this stage, but it can be lost if we're not careful. So let's make sure we're we're on it today, boys. It's tested us brilliantly to wrestle the ball back. Finds a forward ball to below now. Oh my goodness me, below racing forward. He's got a chance to score here. And oh, he clips the outside of the post. That's not that's unlike him. He's usually a man that likes to score, so that was surprising. All right, Doc, uh, Doherty, they've got a Doherty as well as the challenge there from Wells. Flies in. Reed just about keeps it in us brilliantly, actually, to keep it in. And now Wells back to Tete. Forward it goes again. Header back. Reed is there to press to begin with. But Sandro Alexandra doesn't sound like he should be playing in this division, but he seems to be. He's got it's too cool, too cool a name. Stone now, but he beats his first man. Plays the ball forward. Blows in. Oh, my goodness me. It's another goal from his 46th goal of the season. This is Philip Gabe Pixie levels of dominance from below this season. A, a player, again, that picked up on a free transfer in a January window where it just seemed like, yeah, we'll take him. What's, what can go wrong? And now he's the guy. Below is the guy. Get it on the back of your Tem shirts. What Tem shirts? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Reed, ball in. Below's there again. Oh, my. Get right. Put, put it on the front and the back. I'll tell you what he's on for, viewers. He's only on for one of these, isn't he? One, one of these. Because they're a hat trick and it's just, it's just come on. Look at my hair. Good lord. Which edition of Lego did I come from? Good, good grief. That's why I don't normally wear hats, you see. I've got such a cool, it's got such a luscious head of hair that I don't normally wear hats, but you know, it's a special occasion. Ball played forward. Oxford aren't done yet. Let's just, they might be done now. Ball forward. Solomon picks it up. He's got a lot to do from there as he beats the first man. Can he get past the second? Has he got the pace to do so? He certainly has, as he's just sort of toying with that defender. Goes for goal himself. Oh, it would have been a sensational goal. 2 0 up, but you can see the 10 points. It's not even the 10 point gap, is it really? That's just to win us the league title with three games to go. What matters is what happens with Preston and Blackburn and the sides in third, fourth, and fifth. Can we stay enough ahead of them to secure a promotion with two goals now in the lead? You'd think so. As I say, the Oxford, they aren't done yet. And every time I say that, we seem to clear the ball away and attempt to start something of our own. But this time, it'll be Oxford who recycle possession neatly. Boyle flicks it back out to Lewis on that side now. As we've got to be smart about this. We can't give away anything silly. As the challenge sort of half comes in, the shot goes in as well. Jacob Hughes, an assist from Danny Bunce. This is fourth goal of the season. Oxford, 
And not, as I say, not quite done in this game just yet. I'm going to try and fire the boys up. It's, I don't know if this is sort of just bad defending, a little bit unlucky. I mean, that challenge there, I wouldn't say the decision-making was excellent, but, you know, still 2-1 up. Nothing to panic about right now. Why do I sound panicked then? I don't know. All right, I've got a highlight just before the end of the first half, and Reed is a man that I like to see on the ball at this level, as he's been tackled. At this level, he usually gets the best of any left back he comes up against as he's on the ball again just sort of keeping it and making it very difficult to get it off him at this stage as Solomon goes for goal it hits below I think who I can only assume is stopping shots on purpose just to have more goals at the end of the season Solomon lays it back to Tete and a lovely pass no not quite out towards Stone I thought it was going to be as now it's an Oxford chance maybe to do something from a deeper position our defensive line have to be alert as that was sailed over the top and goalkeepers in no man's land oh my word what's happened he's hit on goal there was a comment on yesterday's video that was liked quite a lot you may have seen it that was there is he's better than like every goalkeeper i've ever had or whatever it was and uh that well there was some indecision and that has cost us the ball is played over the top it's a fantastic ball in that moment there i'm thinking we are in trouble there is he at that point i'm thinking we're probably not gonna we're probably not gonna keep a keep a one goal deficit as uh there it is then i mean he races on goal and then he nearly scuffs the shot that would have been one of the best miss ever for some reason i was worried about oxford coming back and now it's now the reality is struck and i feel a little bit sick anyway there's, there's a, another highlight before the end of the half it's been a massive game so far both sides in this of course clinical finishes both of them as that cross finds molden and we have to be aware again of a launched ball over the top perhaps as defensively russell stands pretty strong and it goes to the left back cook who can play, maybe play a ball inside or go down the, the line himself stone with plenty of time looks for a ball towards solomon easily headed away by oxford who since we've taken a 2-0 lead have really grown into the game and uh, yeah we look a little bit all over the place it's fair to say coming forward you'd back up you'd back them to score another here by the way there as he saves on our side and uh 2-2 two -two is going to probably be the halftime score at this stage it's oxford two thames two and uh it's still in the balance now look a draw might be enough today let's take a look the team talk was pretty self-explanatory we are still 10 points clear so as long as we don't lose and the sides below us all do the business then we've still got every chance but of course we don't want to go up drawing fortunately as below's pass there was nearly excellent um we want to win it right we want to show that we deserve to be in the championship as wells there but it's in a phenomenal tackle russell forward solomon's in now it's time for him to score surely oh he's put, he put it wide he put it wide all right, we can encourage the boys now. We're at that position. I mean, team-wise, Tete in the centre center of midfield is having a poor game. He's maybe the man to be replaced at this stage as that ball's lifted over the top. And, oh, my goodness me, struck out by Doty. An amazing pass, it turns out. And now we're on goal. Solomon's make it 3-2. Oh, he's chipped it into the hands of the goalkeeper. What are you doing? Oh, viewers, I've got players on that tricks. And we're doing things like that. Half an hour to go. Do we make this switch in a sense? I think we do. Renatino's going to come on for Tete. We've got him in the team. We might as well play him. As uh, look, the time right now, it's still a 10-point gap. As things stand, we will be promoted. The 76 of Preston has to turn to 77, or ours has to drop down. But with our goal difference as dominant as it is, it doesn't look overly likely. Preston are winning as well. They can't increase it. There must be teams below them that aren't winning. As Stone heads it away, Boyle's going to get there first. We'll have to have a closer look at the, some of the, the, the fixtures that are going on. Of course, if there's an Oxford goal will pay even closer attention as the ball is blocked brilliantly and now reed's going to get on that if he can race forward but it'll look for the pass and now below in acres of space solomon has run way offside below for the hat trick goes for goal of course he's done it viewers of course he's done it let's just look at oh that's not gone well just oh bloody christ it's the hair it's the hair now look at that it's like what the first time i did that as well did we keep all we kept all of them in okay well I've, I've i got it back on my head i put it too tightly if anything it's cutting off the circulation it's three two and we're back in the lead 10 minutes to go sort of oi. <laughs> corner played in oxford aren't done by the way and i'm doing here sitting there doing doing tricks as uh, they've committed an extra man and of course from corners i have an extra man go forward which sometimes costs me as you've seen sometimes we leave a spare man below here racing forward ball played in stone to seal it Welsh, he's done it so that surely is that viewers thames four oxford two and the championship as Welsh pumps the air awaits us the tra our transfer window that i don't think i'm ready for is upon us as well um we might have to do that there's obviously lots of euros action going on over the weekend so i'll see what we do with that but there's work to be done here with a euro episode goodness me it's oxford two it's thames four and um 
Wowzers. That, my friends, is very, very nearly. Can Below seal it with a hat trick? There is 45 seconds to go. He's already got the hat trick. What am I saying? Can, can Below score another one? Why not? We're here for it now. As Welsh runs forward, Solomon, he, he usually scores a goal and he does it again. Solomon gets his fifth or gets the fifth for Thames anyway, gets his goal in the game. And typically, Below has scored more than him again. It's a, it's a common theme. Can we get that man back? Can we get Welsh back as well? Because if we have, like, look, look, Welsh reed solomon below those four players and stone as well shouldn't go unmentioned really those players are so crucial to just how good we are and going into next season going into the transfer window getting some of those boys back on loan will be in a, in a better division in theory right if i was bournemouth and i'm looking at welsh and i'm looking at below there's a chance i give them more of an opportunity come next season as Boyle scores for oxford in a goal that i couldn't give less of a shit about viewers and i've done a swear but i don't care there we have it then Thames have been it's the streamer showdown i've not removed that this is i've never won the oh god there's a showdown coming at the start of next month um i mean it's it's nice there we've we've, we've won league two with three games to go so there you have it folks Thames afc Thames are your league one champions yes look at the confetti fall as we do it at oxford <laughs> there are fans over there they're self isolate distancing you know they're following the, the rules and regulations uh so there it is then the league title with three games to go has been wrapped up as a lovely little cartwheel thrown in there as well as uh well who'd have thunk it who'd have thought it who'd have thunk it We've done it. We have got promoted. And now the work begins. The real work begins because the challenge of getting from League Two or even the Vanarama National to League Two to League One is quite straightforward, right? And getting promoted from League One to some degree can be quite straightforward if things go your way. The situation we have now is trying to battle sides that are coming down from the Premier League with no wage cap, with an, an almost infinite amount of money and the budgets have been set for us we'll come to those in a minute as below we'll praise below's performance before we see it what do we think the budgets will be i think they'll be minuscule i think it'll be like half a mil in terms of transfer budget which is gonna be impossible um i don't know i don't know right here we go i'm so excited okay and boom millions millions 1.27 million oh my god transfer budget viewers it's in it's in the van uh, there must be some we must get like tv revenue from that which helps us do it um this might change obviously Seventy nine thousand pounds a week uh that, that does increase our budgets quite a lot uh twenty four thousand though not a massive amount of money is it really getting those loan boys back packham is probably another one that i would love to have back on loan he's a really consistent performer for me um reed i mentioned welsh as well oh right from fulham has actually like grown into his role as a defender in this side too but of course there'll be better options for us to loan now as well as we are promoted as champions three games to go it's been done i can't believe we've done it already in a, in a style that was expected i thought there'd be a goals or plenty of goals in the game we looked at it pre-game we looked at like the, the attacking efficiency and well that definitely rang true for us um what a season i mean it's not over uh, i might do like a little summary talk about some of the things that we can achieve in the summer maybe we'll do that over the weekend and then next week we'll kick things off with our championship transfers um having england seeing uh we'll have and then england will be in croatia wow what a week it's going to be next week i can't wait uh if you enjoyed today's video do drop a like on it if you want to see a little bit more and i hope you do make sure you subscribe for the championship and the premier league part of this journey and we love with care if you're not to mention until next time i'll see you again extremely very extremely very soon it's like everybody goodbye i think the hat is cutting off circulation it really is so just take it out it's too hot as well should have been using it as this the whole time